going to update the um, very popular engineer solder suckers. These are like luxurious solder suckers with these like beautiful anodized aluminum bodies and like those cool red stopper thingies and replaceable silicone tips that you get extra tubes for. Um, they've been updated to the SS03 model. The price did increase a little bit, but not too much. They're still an excellent deal. I love mine. I use it all the time. It's like the best solder sucker by far. Um, you also have another USB Type C power delivery to 2.1 millimeter tip. Uh, this time it's 20 volts. I'll say the plastic for some reason says 19.5. I don't know why. USB power delivery does not provide 19.5. It provides 20 volts. So I don't know. Ignore that. Substitute the 19.5 for 20. You do need to have a USB C power delivery you know, thing that gives you 20 volts, so like a laptop power supply. Um, but you'll get three amps out of it, uh, so it's great for up to 60 watts. Um, you need something that's powering off of 20 volts. Yeah, there's some LED strips and some motors and stuff that could uh, work well with this. It's a very easy way to um, upgrade your old DC power supply, DC power using devices to USB-C. We also have this cable now in two meters. Personally, I just wanted this for my laptop um, because I use it to make sure that my USB PD is working quite well. So it's um, got a little display built into it that tells you the wattage. Um, so when I'm charging my laptop, I just make sure it says like 60, 70 watts and I know it's working. Now available in like this beautiful two meter long cable. Um, I use mine every day, it's really great. Uh, we also have the one meter version. All right, Star Show, besides you, Lady Ada, the community, our customers, and more, and especially our team at Adafruit, who makes this all go, is? Is the INA3221. Uh, finally finished this board and working on it on and off for a couple of years, but I finally decided to wrap it. Um, so this is kind of like an INA219 um, times three square. It's like a triple decker. So this allows, this is an I2C sensor, so you control and read it over I2C with your microcontroller or Raspberry Pi, Arduino or CircuitPython, and you can read up to three DC voltages, up to 26 volts, and you can measure the voltage as well as the amount of current that is being drawn. So you use the terminal blocks on the end. So maybe you can select like mm -hmm. this one. Um, so there's terminal blocks, you see there's like plus and minus, so you can connect either to the high side or the low side. Most people want to do high side so the grounds are all shared. Um, you connect your three measurements to the plus terminal block, and then you connect the low to the negative, and then you can measure um, positive or negative 3.2 something amps of current, 1% um, precision, 13 bit accuracy, I'm sorry. 1% accuracy, 13-bit precision. Um, so it can do, you know, up to as little as like 0.5 milliamps or so, um, and up to 3.2 amps. And uh, you get like, you can set up warn and critical and valid interrupt. So it tells you like when your current draw is, is going over some predefined limit that you set in the I2C driver. Um, basically it's just great if you, if you are measuring multiple voltages and currents, uh, you know, you're doing like photovoltaic projects or battery charging or, you know, motor control stuff and you want to do very fast power uh, measurements. Um, the INA3221 is great. One thing is, you know, it doesn't have a FIFO and it doesn't do like power summation. I think the INA228 does that. So this is a little bit of a simpler one. It's really a lot like the INA219. Um, very, very similar, but just three of them. So. Um, I'm using this for a project, and I was using a project where I had to measure 12 volt, 5 volt, and 3 volt power supplies all at the same time. So I thought it would be handy to make a breakout board for this really good power supply. And no soldering is required because you just use the terminal blocks. Stem QT for I squared C, and you're ready to go.